Section 4, Making a Command Line Utility. 4.1, Making the Package Executable via Python-M. So we're going to look at what Python's-M command line option does, where the execution starts when we use Python-M to run a package, not a module, how to keep the program from running when we don't want it to, and getting started on a project that will work through in the remainder of this section. In previous videos, we've run command line tools like Doctest and VM by typing in Python-M followed by the name of the tool we wanted to run. What were we actually asking Python to do when we did that? The dash "-m command line switch for Python tells it to run a module. It uses the same mechanism to find the module that it would if we'd used the import statement with the module's name, and then it executes it. But vnv isn't a module, it's a package. So what's happening when we do python -m vn? We gave Python a package name, but we didn't give it a module name inside the package that it should run. When that happens, Python looks for a module named underscore underscore main underscore underscore in the package, and runs that. So python -m vn means the same thing as python -m vm dot underscore underscore main underscore underscore. Any module that's meant to contain a program's entry point has a problem, because simply importing the module will run the code too. That can be annoying or troublesome if the, at the best of times, but it becomes unacceptable when we're using tools like Sphinx or DocTest that need to import modules in order to do their jobs, but which really shouldn't actually run the module code as a program. Fortunately, there's an easy fix, because the Python interpreter itself knows which module it was told to start running and marks it as such. All modules are automatically given a variable named underscore underscore name underscore underscore, which contains the module's name except in the case of the program entry point. The program entry point is always given the name underscore underscore main underscore underscore, even if its file name is something entirely different. So we can check whether our code was the program entry point by checking if name equals main. If it does, we should run the program. If it doesn't, we were imported normally and should act as just a simple module. This even distinguishes between importing a module's main module and running it. This even distinguishes between importing a module's main module and running it, because when we import it, the name variable contains package name dot underscore underscore main underscore underscore, not just underscore underscore main underscore underscore. In the videos in this section, we're going to work through the process of building a complete utility program called Pipeline. Pipeline will be a text mode program that can be configured to run a sequence of other programs and feed data from one program into the next. In each video, we'll apply what we've talked about in developing Pipeline further. So far, all we've talked about in this section is how to make a program able to be run from Python-M, but we've seen in previous sections how to create a virtual environment to work in, how to create a package, and how to lay out the code in the package's module for readability. So let's put those lessons to use. Create a folder within the virtual environment to be the package and call it pipeline. Inside the package folder, place an init.py file, which can be empty, and a main.py file. For now, the contents of the main file can be very simple. Just a doc string for the module, a function that should be called if the module is the program entry point, and the if statement that decides whether or not to call the launch function. The launch function doesn't have a doc string, which is allowed because it's marked as non public by having an underscore as the first letter of its name. The launch function also doesn't do anything interesting yet. It just uses the print function to tell us that it was successfully executed. Let's run it so we can see for ourselves. Open a command line, go to the virtual environment where we created the package, and activate the virtual environment. Then type python -m pipeline. That's it for how to make a package run as a program. The dash -m command line option imports a package or module and runs it. When we ask to run a package, an execution starts in the double underbarred main module if it exists. If it does not exist, an error will be raised. We can use the if double underbar name equals double underbar main construct to protect our code from running just because it's been imported, and run only when it's actually executed, intentionally. In the next video, we'll move on to how to handle the command line arguments.